go. But let's start first with cricket. You'll be surprised, but you know, when you talk about going back to schools those days, cricket was something we were always all about. And since we are starting with non-football, cricket will be the first stop. Let me introduce the Lagos State um, Cricket Association head coach, talking about Igram. But we give him a day me here, Jones, joining us. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing fantastically well, and how are you doing, sir? I'm great, I'm great. You're great. Something big happening. They've taken cricket back to grassroots, de definitely to schools from Victoria Island, Ikorodu. I've always been really, really accusing them of just staying put in Ikorodu. We can't wait to see when they'll bring it to First Stack Town, to Mile 2. Then he talked about Mushi, and I just smiled. Huh, Mushi. <laughs> It's okay. Let, let's take a look first and foremost to what we need to look at now. We talked about schools mm -hmm. and how you've been able to take it back to school for some time now. <laughs> yes. And we heard that just last weekend, especially Friday to be precise, we saw some new schools join this campaign. Yes, uh, Government Model College, mm -hmm. again, in Ikurudu. Oh. So, <laughs> yes. Um, so the junior section, uh, SS1, SS2. And I'm glad to report that every single one of those uh, students were able to hold a cricket bat. So they could all show you now how to hold a cricket bat, if you wanted to know. And then um, they were able to have the hard um, ball training. Yes, the uh, Majidun and uh, Ipakado, both schools, got a minibus and went to train with the Lagos boys and girls. And they've been doing hard ball training. So thank you to Coach Aziz for that. Like, how many schools do you have... In total now, let's just look at it. Ten schools being part of this big program, taking mm -hmm. it back, cricket back to schools. Mm -hmm. About I that, schools. about that, but you also got to include the other coaches, Coach Aziz and Coach Ruth. They're doing great jobs in their communities as well. So it's just about getting these coaches into schools and getting as many of these young players into Lagos and, of course, getting them to compete and eventually one day play for Nigeria. All right, so that's what we're looking for, how to discover these talents. And at the end of the day, we'll look how they can be nurtured to stardom. Let's now talk about how impressed you've been with these new schools, the level of commitment they've shown when it comes to cricket and involvement. Uh, I tell you, the, the enthusiasm, the passion and the love they have, it's incredible. It's just, you know, when they say, coach, you're coming back next week, I'm like, <laughs> wow. I'm, I think... You know, because football is dominant here in mm -hmm. Nigeria. So when you talk about cricket, I don't expect much of a, a turnout. And you see all these young people, as you can see there, um, uh, that's it, at a government college. Mm -hmm. they, uh, they loved it and they all wanted to come back. So, um, yeah, it's encouraging. Very encouraging. All right, very, very encouraging. And let's now talk about, since we're still doing eighth grade, let's talk about the under-15 teams. Mm -hmm. Both the men, and the, I mean the boys and the girls, as mm. they prepare for the National Youth um, Tournament games coming up um, either August or September this yes. year. How have you started preparation for this big one? We have started preparation. And also to add, we've got the blessing. I'm back in CMS Grammar School. Now, um, because I'm back at Seamus Grammar School and the CCC League has been playing cricket there, uh, the principal has now given the approval for CMS Grammar School to be the hub for cricket for Lagos. So that is where we will look to uh, have our high performance players training and uh, yeah, then we can push these players on so we can take them to that next level and uh, uh, ensure that they get the best possible opportunity to get into that Nigerian squad. All right. We heard, we heard something, you mentioned them high performance and something just came to my mind now, mm. talking about coaches and players, they already have a de developmental venue. Yes. When is this going to be in use? Uh, next month. Uh, the facility is absolutely amazing. Overhead projector, whiteboard, seats for about 22 uh, coaches there, which is, um, in, and that's, again, that's Majidun. Uh, senior grammar school and the facilities there are set, they are they're incredible and to be able to use those facilities to start coaching uh, new coaches mm -hmm. um, coaching them um, sort of the international philosophy of, uh, of cricket uh, that can only again be of benefit and we'll try and get that started next month I've got a few programs that I when I got into cricket started using and those are the programs I'll be coaching and teaching uh, I've got about 20 uh, trainee coaches who have been working with me since March. So um, getting them into this program is great. And of course, that also opens them up for opportunities for jobs in the future. So, 
Yes. All right, um, then let's just, let me take you back to the youth um, games we talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. You have the under 15 girls and boys already in camp. Yes. How many of the boys are in camp? How many of the girls are in camp? And where is the venue of this uh, camp exercise? So the training is at Unilag at the moment, but as I've just mentioned, now we also have uh, the blessing of the principal of CMS Grammar School. Mm -hmm. So we're using that facility as well. Uh, last week, I can tell you, we had 48 children that came from Ikurudu in two minibuses to Unilag plus we had about 20 uh, also from Lagos as well so it's pretty good and the numbers are growing so that's really really, really encouraging. Okay and um, do you think we've got what it takes to really see these kids um, go out there come August this year to dominate in Nigeria? That, that's what it's all about get out there play and dominate that's what that's what it is about for me but more importantly, these young people are having fun, they're enjoying themselves, and they're, un and they're enjoying the journey. Mm? We also have a, a, a parents meeting this weekend, and I always I'm stress coming about... coming to that. Oh, the sorry. The purpose of that meet the coaches. Yes. What so, the have a meet the coaches meeting this weekend, because the importance of having parent, coach, school relationship, you know... The parents' involvement is utmost important. When you've got the support of the parents, they know where the child is going, they support the, parent, the child's journey. But also it's important that the child is doing well in school. They, the sport is not an excuse for them to start slacking in school. So they must have the education and the sport. Must be, they must be disciplined in school, at home, and on, the, and on the ground as well. So to meet the parents, to see who the parent is of that child, to have that conversation, for them to meet the coach and know that, each, wherever they are, whether they're at school, whether they're at home, or they're on the field, discipline and application is important. All right, before I let you go, the final one right now is this cricket developmental program we are seeing through the grassroots, especially mm. schools. Yes. Would you say it's really been awesome from the time you came into the country, you took over this job till this point. Mm. How would you evaluate it? I think the answer to that is when we were just at TBS on the weekend. We were at TBS at the weekend, we had CMS Grammar School, we had Ipakado and Majidun all there watching the CCC final. And a young girl who'd only been with us one day training in cricket, oh. went and won uh, the TBS quiz that was there. And that young lady won 6,000 Naira. And for me, that was, it was testament to say, well, this is a new young lady that's coming to the sport of cricket. She's come to the home of cricket and she's, uh, on her first day in cricket, this is what's happened. I think it's, it's incredible. All right, I want to say a big thank you to the head coach of the Lagos State Cricket Association. In ground box, for me, I love to stop by to say, hey, are they hear me before I now call the son in June for joining us on Sports Cafe? I think you're going to become a regular because I'm beginning to feel, I mean, love them cricket and I think I'll start batting any You need to come to the soon. ground. You need to come to the ground. Start keeping fit. Mm -hmm. All right. That means on that note, I want to say a big thank you to you once more for joining us and maybe we'll just make it a date on Tuesday again. Sounds good. All right. Thank you. Let's go on a short break. And when we come back, we are going straight to the slam and dunk spot. I've got my man waiting right here for us.